Welcome back to ENC at 3. This weekend, the Greenville Museum of Art is hosting a pair of fun events to get both you and the family out of the house. First, on Saturday afternoon, it's Super Family Game Day featuring arcade games, lawn games, and more. Then Saturday evening, adults 21 years and up are invited to come and enjoy more gaming activities at GMO Arcade. Both events are presented by Carolina Custodial. We have Sim Asher here with the museum and Harry Frank of the event committee and members of the owner of Blue Ox Games and are here with all the details on the two events coming to ENC. And first, tell me, first of all, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yes, and tell me a bit about what kind of fun and games we can expect at Super Family Game Day. This is all, all up my alley because I'm, I'm a gamer. <laughs> yeah, well, um, this is probably our sixth year hosting this event at the museum, and um, it's separated into two different events throughout the day, so it's all geared towards all kinds of games. Um, during the day, it's Super Family Game Day for kids and families, and then at nighttime, it's for the 21 and over crowd. Um, but games, you can expect everything from arcade games, video games, um, we'll have trivia, there will be chess tutorials, um, a lot of arts and crafts during the day, and then at night there will be other kinds of interactive activities. Um, Harry's been part of this event planning committee for a few years now, so he's actually a big component, mm -hmm. and he can elaborate a little bit more on what Blue Box Games is going to be bringing for this event on Saturday. Yeah, so we're looking forward to bringing a bunch of board games uh, for the earlier event. We'll have things available for kids to play. We'll have some Pokemon stuff available, things like that. Um, board games that are age appropriate uh, during the day and family friendly. And then once it gets to the GM Arcade part, we're going to be have a little bit more uh, adult oriented games like party games, mm -hmm. things like that. And we'll be teaching people how to play those as well as having a uh, Super Smash tournament that's going to be taking place between the two events. But you got to pay to get into the night event in order to get into that tournament. All right. And speaking of pay, how much are tickets for each event? Um, for Super Family Game Day, it is absolutely free for museum members. Um, if you're not a mu member, it's $5 for a single kid or $15 for three or more kids per family. Um, the night event for museum members, it's 20 bucks, and then for non-members, it'll be $25. Okay, and how do things like this help the Greenville Museum of Art? Um, it helps in a variety of ways. Most of our events are geared towards impacting the museum to support its mission, and a lot of times these events are uh, very reliant on um, partnerships that we have within the community, whether it's local businesses or individuals that want to participate. So it's a great way to um, broaden our scope of partnership throughout um, the course of not only this event, but all the future events that we have for the rest of the year. Um, it's a great way for visitors who might not normally visit the museum mm -hmm. to actually get their foot in the door. So while they're experiencing such a unique type of event within the museum's walls, they can also appreciate all the artwork that's on display. And then we include other types of components in the events, such as different various activities that are more creative as well. So while you're playing games, you can do all these things that might be inspired by creating art or creating in general. So it's really cool. Um, we have a lot of partnerships, for example, Blue Ox Games okay. um, that will be working with us. And yeah, it's all about uh, working together to create things that are fun for um, the Greenville community and beyond. So yeah. yeah. And I'll ask this to you, Harry. Do you feel like this is impacting the community in a positive way? Oh, absolutely. I think anything where you're getting people together in person is a positive impact in the community. Mm -hmm. And things like uh, having a theme of games is games are a great way to bring people together. I think it's a lot like breaking bread, sitting across from a dinner table. Games are a great way to get two people who maybe wouldn't meet any other way go, oh, I like this game, I like that game too, let's sit down and play, and then a conversation starts. So it's a great for a community in building that uh, communication between maybe people who would never meet in any other way. Yeah, and for those parents who can't play, don't know how to play games, you guys can teach them. They can Absolutely. play with their kids, have and some enjoy family games fun. With their kids. Right. Go ahead and tell us one more time when and where. Um, GMO Arcade is happening from 6 to 9 this Saturday, and Super Family Game Day is happening from 1 to 4 p.m. on Saturday. Um, we did sell out of tickets last year, so we strongly encourage everyone to visit gmoa.org to purchase your tickets as soon as possible. Um, and for the nighttime event, I do want to mention the after party will be at Uptown Brewing Company. They are sponsoring our bar this okay. year, so All we're right. encouraging people to visit them after the event is over. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, Looking thank you. To we it. appreciate it.